Good afternoon, everyone. Join us at Stanford Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, thanks and welcome to our May 10th, 2016 meeting. First thing on our agenda is the approval of the payroll for May the 2nd, 2016. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. The uh, claims on April 21st and May the 5th, 2016. I'll make the motion. Second. 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 All those in favor, signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, Stephen Kramak. Kowski, I'm sorry, DLZ, uh, Technical Review Committee, Criteria Scoring, Opening of Sealed Cost Proposals. Uh, I hope the auditor does. Yes. <coughs> Before we actually open this, I thought that passed this. You may have had this in your packet, but it's just Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Stephen Kromkowski with DLZ. Um, we are acting as the technical uh, criteria developer. Um, so last time we met, we talked about uh, opening up the cost proposals at this meeting. Um, part of that process is that there is a scoring and a rating based on criteria. That is the one, the first step of the two-step process. So what we have before you is that each, there were three total reviewers. Each reviewer scored uh, the proposals that were submitted that did not uh, take a look at the cost at all. Those are still in the sealed envelopes. Um, and so what each one, if you notice, each one uh, scored theirs independently and it varied slightly from reviewer to reviewer. Uh, but in the end, uh, we took the average score. And so in the end, this average score is then uh, brought into with the cost and those two are merged together to get the uh, adjusted price calculation for it. So um, with that, the um, uh, core, uh, Epic, Millies, and Allen Marsh, had, uh, their average score was 460.33. Um, and these score, not, they're purely numerical. They correspond to the criteria, but it's not a percentage or anything. So it's just purely a numerical number. Uh, Gary Up Construction and MK2E Design uh, their average score was 307. And then Larson Danielson Construction Company, their average score was 440. So, so we take each one of those um, and we open up the cost proposals. And if we may have, do we have to delay that or? Just for a second, she okay. had the, another set of bids to open for today, so. Okay, all right, very good. So the next step on buying a little time here. So the next step after the, the uh, best valued is how the term uh, from the state and the statutes are read. Um, what we do is we take a look. Uh, most of the time the qual there's qualifiers within those cost proposals. Um, it will be our responsibility to sit down and confirm that um, and make sure that um, whoever has that uh, best valued price, uh, it's included. Then you begin essentially a negotiation with them. Uh, to confirm uh, the final contract amount. And so the next time we meet, uh, the anticipation is that we will have uh, a set uh, scope as well as the dollar amount uh, to present to you so you can enter into a contract. The scope of work, as I say, you negotiate. You're not changing the scope of work. Um, you're only confirming uh, the final, uh, as all aspects of the project. Um, so, um, so that's sort of the process that goes through. So you're viewing everybody and judging everybody on the same set of parameters. Um, and then after you select that best value, then you go forward um, with establishing the final contract amount for them. So what you're saying is the envelopes we're going to open once they get here, the lowest bidder may not necessarily be the winner of the contract. You're correct. Given the averaging of the scores from the reviewers. That is correct. And the bid process. So you could conceivably have a, uh, a low bidder with a higher uh, cost proposal, uh, and they could end up being coming the best valued, uh, and vice versa. 
So you could have the highest value uh, with a not necessarily the lowest bid and you would still be able to award it to them based on the calculation. And you just take one number and you divide it into the other and that's the adjusted cost. So are there any other questions that you might have? Did she not have the right bid, Scott? Or she had a different set, so she went to go get the, <coughs> the set. We could. You want to go ahead and table I mean, we'll keep the meeting? Yeah, we could just forward. table it for a minute right. and come back to it. So we keep moving. Don't go too far away. Okay. <laughs> the first person is the auditor. <laughs> okay, let's jump to uh, Sharon Lippens, ITS director. Adam Dremko, purchase agreement, copier replacement for 911. Adam Dremko, copier maintenance agreement, 911. Adam Dremko, copier maintenance agreement, adult probation. Hi, Sharon. We have a copy machine that was purchased for 911 that was later discovered was too big and would not fit in the area that they had available for it. So we have an agreement to purchase a different machine for them. In the meantime, we also had a request from adult probation here in the administration center for a new copy machine. They uh, described what their needs were. They met exactly what the 911 machine was. So we'll be reallocating that machine over to 911. That's why we have two different maintenance agreements, a new maintenance agreement for the uh, quantities that adult probation requires, and then the new machine and the maintenance for the 911 replacement. Very good. Questions? It's your pleasure. I'll make the motion for both the new copier and the maintenance, the two maintenance agreements. Very good. Is there a second? Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, second by saying aye. 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 Of course, thanks. Thank you. I just wanted to let you know as well, uh, it's been discussed previously to review our current fleet. I have completed that review. I did identify 10 machines that were actually, I don't want to say they're overbilling, but the quantities that the uh, offices identified that they would be printing was overstated. And uh, so I'm going to be working with the vendor to reduce those quantities, to reduce those bills because they're not uh, utilizing them, be it that they've cut back on copying or they've done online type of things. Uh, so that'll generate some savings as well and also make the machines last longer. So. Very good. Thank you. Thanks for that. Okay. We ready, Becky? Okay. For my portion? No. For we want to do the bids. Uh, can we defer that? I have to get some clarification. The person who handled that, uh, we were only told to bring the highway bids today, so I need to check with her. And she is currently in a meeting right now. Well, I'd like to suggest that you right. go interrupt her. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. I'm Lori trying Daly, to uh, Expo Center Director. Communication Company Agreement for Annual NFPA 72 Fire Alarm Test and Inspection. Paint quotes for fence, poles, and top rails, and we're not doing the swing gate. How are you? How are you? Good, good. <coughs> Which? Yeah, let's do the communication company agreement for the uh, fire alarm test and inspection. Um, this is the company that installs the fire alarm, mm -hmm. so they um, come and test it every year. All right. And the cost? 1167 Questions? Is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Okay. A second. Motion and a second. All those in favor say by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Pink quotes for fence, poles, and top rail. The fair board has gotten two quotes. They're in front of you. They have chosen the MMWBL quote for $10,940.64 and have requested that the commissioner's pay for half. That would paint the fence along 49, um, along Division 2, Gate 1, just past Gate 1, and then back north in between Expo East and Main Hall. And then possibly the gate um, along the midway that goes north, but we're going to hold off on that until we see what the, where the water's coming from. So they want us to pay half, and they're going to pay half, so we're going to pay around $5,400. Correct, 547732 Questions? Um, I'll make the motion. Motion? Second. And a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thanks, Larry. I'd also like to point out, too, that the Fair Board is also painting all their uh, 
uh, Fair Barns this they year. Right. Go ahead and give us a... They are painting. They're starting with the 4-H building. So there's the first two and then 4-H. They're painting that. The Five Barns, Buggy Wheel, the Horse Tower, Horse Arena. I'm sorry, the Horse Barn. Um, and that's underway, not the painting, but they power washed and everything. And they're actually gutting the inside of the buggy wheel bathroom. So that's been gutted and then they're putting all new um, sinks, toilets, stalls, showers, all new fixtures. So they're, and everything's in, in motion. Great. They're gonna have all these renovations done for the uh, soon to be world famous Commissioner's Ball? Yeah. <laughs> no, unfortunately. No. <laughs> Although we can take a drive that evening, we okay. can schedule tours. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. Scott McDonald, interim director of the uh, Opera House, MTI production contract, MTI production contract, RMH theatricals, license agreement, DPS non-professional license agreement, MIETF menu rental agreement, James Mullen artist agreement done, duo Squeak, squeezy, Deborah, okay, could do that. <laughs> Deborah Silver, <laughs> venue rental agreement, Vicky Vicker, uh, Zoom, mm -hmm. artist agreement, Keith Palazzolo, artist agreement, Adriana Lineback, artist agreement, Matthew Clem, artist agreement, SBS Records, Michelle Malone, artist agreement. Did I miss any? That's all? Anybody have any questions about any of those? No, can we do these all together? I believe we could. I'll make the motion to accept all of your contracts listed. Motion is there a second. Second. Motion is second to allow the interim director to enter into those contracts of four matches. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. How's the uh, odd couple going? Really well. Okay, really well. One more weekend? One more weekend this weekend, so we're excited about it. Good weekend. Thanks. Not so loud. You can sell some tickets here. <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> Reports from commissioners. Um, South District. LPA claim form two for County Road 100 South, 2,000 feet west of County Road 725 West, 2,000 feet east of County Road 500 West for intersection and sign distance improvement in the amount of $687. Recommend approval. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor of signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. You want to go ahead and do all districts sure. too, Laura. Open request for proposals. Porter County is seeking proposals from qualified consultants for preparing a roadway asset inventory of all roads in unincorporated Porter County. Porter County has approximately 800 centerline miles of road in its inventory and does maintain a database of some features. Make that in the form of a motion. And second. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Yes. Yeah, Rick, Rick. Yeah, no, are those, is that what those are? <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I think, let's go ahead and, well, Vicki has them. Well, <coughs> those are the ones you did bring. Yeah. <laughs> those you you can open them, Scott. Raise your right hand. You're a deputy uh, auditor. Okay. <laughs> Just to give everybody an update as to what we're doing here, um, the proposals went out to where our highway department is, uh, uh, we're, we're seeking uh, quotes to, uh, for consulting company to come in and help us uh, put together the PASER roadway system program. I, did I say that? It's PASER, right? And the PASER program is relevant from the standpoint is if you follow state government, uh, our state passed a bill this year where there's matching funds available for paving, and it's up to 50% matching funds. In order to be able to get uh, qualified for those matching funds, your county has to demonstrate that you're implementing the PASER roadway maintenance program, which is very similar to what the state's roadway system program is. So what this does is this puts us in compliance for matching uh, paving dollars with the state of Indiana uh, by accelerating putting the PASER program into place a little bit earlier than uh, 
than, than what is normally. So these bids will give us the, uh, will select the, 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 uh, the wording, we'll award the contract to the low bid to where they will come in and start implementing with our highway department this new Paisa road, road program. So that's step one in, a, in about three things that we have to do to qualify for the state match fund on paving. So that's, that's how this is being pushed forward for anybody that's interested in trying to know. Okay, the first bid is from uh, DLZ of Munster, Indiana, and the compensation portion of their proposal is for $76,500. The next one is from SEH, <coughs> Indiana, and uh, it is for one hundred seventy-one thousand nine hundred dollars. And the third, and they only have three. The third is from. Uh, American Structure Point in Indianapolis, India. Their bid is for one hundred and twenty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. Say five hundred thousand, one twenty-five. Why don't we give these to Ray, let him take them back, and do um, you want to do it today, Ray, or do you want to come back at our next meeting? Well, it appears pretty clear-cut. I think we should take a look at it, and I'll get back to you at the next meeting. Okay. The next meeting? Very good. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. Vicki, yeah. where are we at? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got him. Let's, let's do your, uh, let's do your, uh, well, let's go ahead and do the bids first. Okay. Um, it's already been explained. There are three proposals here and three binders and plus a large. Uh, okay. uh, I have, have to ask because this is supposed to be a sealed bid. Why are they open? Scott, can you explain that? The boxes came in all sealed, and then they were the the actual plans that were graded earlier were taken out, and those remained in the box and went in the custody of the auditor's office. Okay. Very good. And I was present when they were open and put back in the box. Yeah. The first one is from Larson Danielson Construction Company. And this may take a minute. Back to waiting. Um, <laughs> Vicki, yeah. Dorset uh, Consulting Agreement Professional Consulting Services. I have two contracts before you, both of which are, I guess it would be fair to say, extensions of existing contracts that the auditor's office has had. The first one is with DASIT. Uh, this is the vendor that's been providing our cost allocation plan. The cost allocation plan annually is a required report required by the OMB in order to obtain federal reimbursement of indirect costs related to federal grants. And in this particular um, case, we're talking about the federal um, 4D child support program. And so this is... Um, this has, Dawson has been with us, I believe, three years now, and he has provided either a yearly uh, contract or a three-year uh, uh, service agreement. And I'm requesting the three-year because the overall there is a cost saving. I will say that 
the actual plan results, it is an indirect cost itself, so we also get the 66% reimbursement for the $9,000 fee. Okay, questions? Is there a motion? Uh, Scott, have you reviewed this for a three-year term? Yes. And that's? Yeah, because per we're actually two years behind. So the last term in office, okay. the next auditor will actually be her. It matches up correctly. Okay, thank you. I'll make the motion. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, second for saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. SRI Tech 2016 tax sale contract. Yes, this is being presented on behalf of the county treasurer and the county auditor's office because we both have to sign it. This is the company that provides our annual tax sale uh, services, and the cost is increasing from $70 per parcel fee to $75 fee. And it's just for this year. I'll make the motion. Motion. Second. Second. All those in favor, saying aye. 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 Of course, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Let's open some bills <laughs> again. All right. So to be clear, what happened was this is pursuant to the design build process. When the these were the actual proposed designs, the auditor's office is the keeper of one of those sets. So that's what uh, Vicky went and retrieved was that set of drawings at the. At Judy, uh, Judy's desk is the lady who had these things, and because I was part of opening the boxes, I knew what I was looking for and what they looked like, so I was able to get them. They're all still sealed, so. There's one from Gary up Construction. Danielson. Super shield. Okay, a rough estimate from uh, Gary Up Construction. $1,800,000. Next one is from Larson Danielson. This, is, this does not say rough estimate. This says the estimate. $2,753,082. Larson Danielson, 273. 2753. Yeah. 5-3. Okay, yeah. sorry. $2,753,082. Larson Danielson, LaPorte, Indiana. And, yeah, LaPorte. And Core, Epcot, Millies, and Abin, Abin Marsh. $3,000,000. Somehow I don't feel as though we're comparing apples to apples. So we're going to meet again on the uh, 17th of May, and by then we'll have worked all the details out. Stephen, is that correct? Pretty much assured. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have you anything Thanks. else for us, Stephen? Thank you. Um, what did we forget? Correspondence. We have a file of the treasurer's monthly report for March 31st, 2016. We have a request for approval by uh, Walter Lenko's Parks Department Superintendent to proclaim Saturday, May 21st, 2016, Kids to, to Parks Day in Porter County. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion is second. All those in favor of signify saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. We have a request for approval by the Valparaiso Parks and Rapids to hold the 14th Valpo Triathlon on Saturday, July the 16th, 2016. They are asking for the county assistance with traffic control at the county roads and are involved in the bike course. And the county roads that are involved in the bike course. The map is attached. Is there somebody here for this one? or This is, like it says, the 14th year or so. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. 
second. And a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Request for additional appropriation highway fund of 1172.2293, $1,880,000 to account 2362 asphalt. Replace funds deleted from the 2016 budget and additional 2016 road paving. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Request for additional appropriation highway fund 1116. $110,000 to account 2360 stone, additional for limestone for building uh, for building chip and seal roads. I'll make the motion. Motion. Second. And a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Request for additional appropriation highway, fund 1176, $20,000 to account 3420, building liability insurance, budget shortfall due to increase in workman's compensation insurance costs. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Request to transfer funds Memorial Opera House, fund 4915, $11,475 from fund 3340 advertising to 3950 contractual services, moving funds to cover contract from marketing director paid by additional contributions from Dunes Tourism. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, signal for saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Request to transfer funds, Memorial Opera House Fund 4915, $10,000 from Fund 3760 royalties to 3991 other services, moving funds to reimburse the Opera House for monthly merchant service fees per the auditor. The reimbursement comes from dues and subscriptions, roughly $1,000 per month. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, second. signify by saying aye. It says something that they're moving it to a different place on yes. the iPad. Yes. Is that which one's right? Just uh, no, thirty-nine ninety-one. Okay. Yeah, we reviewed that, and that's not really the subscription, so we're creating that new account for them. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Did Scott? What? Gary, it's good that the real bid is two million nine hundred eighty-nine thousand seven hundred and sixty-two dollars. Two million nine hundred eighty-nine thousand seven hundred and sixty-two dollars. Not the one million eight. Yeah, I was wondering, man. So, <laughs> Not this. Yeah, and the and the one million eight was part of a one of the required insurance documents. Yeah. And that's why it was a rough estimate. It was a rough estimate. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we got that figured out. <laughs> um, okay. We have a couple of announcements. Our next meeting will be uh, May the 17th, right here in this chamber, 1 p.m. And then in the month of June, this body's only going to meet one time because of lack of uh, work here. So we're going to meet on the 14th of June at 1 p.m. in this building. Anybody have anything else? Going once. Anybody wish to address this body? Anyone wishing to address this body? Nope. We stand in recess. Thank you.